So uh, now when Apple have got the new iPhones out of the way or <laughs> new Apple's event for October it'll, will probably be about a new Max based on the M4 chip. So first I want to say that no other than Apple actually really knows what is going to be released. So everything in this video is just rumors and what I say could be wrong. Uh, leaks are leaks, but it's not necessarily this fly. Not necessarily correct. So anyone that claims that exactly what is going to happen here, I would take that with a grain of salt, just as I would take my video with a grain of salt. The biggest rumors here obviously is a redesigned Mac mini using the M4 chip. Likely it's going to be the size of the current Apple TV, perhaps a little bit taller to account for some ports. But when we are talking about Apple here, as we all know, Apple likes to remove ports or change them up, but hopefully they will keep the 10 gig ethernet port on the Mac mini, which uh, a lot of people like <laughs> this fly, can you get away? The current Mac mini is using the M2 CPU. While it's not a bad CPU by any means, it's probably next in the line to uh, get an update. So the Mac mini has always been a cheap way to kind of get or cheap uh, into the Apple ecosystem. You just need to provide the uh, display, keyboard and mouse yourself. And let's just hope that the new one will be reasonably priced. Other rumored updates this time is that the iMac is getting the new M4 chip soon and the MacBook Pro lineup as well. And for people that need the absolute highest end performance, you would look at the Mac Studio or perhaps the Mac Pro. They never got updated to the M3 chips and the rumors here say that they are going to be updated in 2025 with the M4 Max and perhaps the M4 Ultra chip or maybe some other kind of chip for the Mac Pro. I mean, maybe uh, so the M4 uh, Ultra is uh, two M4 Max CPUs Perhaps we get four. Well, who knows? No one knows. Apple knows. Yeah, so we have the financial question here. Should you wait for the M4 or should you buy something uh, now? Buying a new computer will, for most people, boil down to a uh, financial question. If you have the resources to get by the newest gear, by all means, do that. But for most people, this is obviously not the case. The new M4-based Max from Apple will probably not be cheap. As we all know, Apple gear is getting more and more expensive. And I mean, with the current economic climate, the inflation and everything, it's more important to make informed choices. And uh, I mean, you don't, sh you shouldn't <laughs> overspend on something you truly don't need. I am uh, obviously a good uh, case of that. I have bought Apple computers that I really don't need for what I do, but I think that's another video. The M4 will uh, obviously provide better performance. How much better performance is hard to say. You can see some comparison uh, when you look at the iPad because the iPad have the M4 CPU, so we can compare it with the uh, M2, for example, but uh, it doesn't say much about what is going to be released uh, from Apple. Obviously, you are going to get better performance upgrading to the M4, but how much is really the question here. But when Apple released the M3, the performance increase over M2 wasn't really that high. Uh, depending on what type of your work you do, it depends a little bit if it's video or music or, or compute. Yeah, it depends a little bit, but um, the norm was uh, around 10 to 20% performance increase from M2 to M3. I tested this in uh, music production. Uh, you can see videos on my channel about this. I have a lot of videos testing uh, music production software here. But the cheapest M1 MacBook Air with just eight gigabytes of memory was able to run some of my music production projects without any issues at all. And that's, I think that's pretty impressive. And uh, the M3 MacBook Air, which I have now, also did this flawlessly without, with even more headroom to spare. And I had the M3 Max MacBook Pro for a while on this channel, and it's just chew through anything I threw at it. It's really powerful. And uh, I decided to just keep the M3 MacBook Air because that was enough performance for me for what I do right now. And uh, the difference in cost there, I think it's, at least here in Norway, it's really high. It's kind of two or three, almost $3,000 difference in costs. And I can, can obviously use that on other things. 
You can find videos on YouTube showing uh, benchmarks in different applications. I do that for music production, but other things like video editing and content creation is full of videos showing how these Apple machines works if you are interested. And the thing is, these MCPUs from Apple is uh, really powerful and you can get yourself a good deal buying a refurbished M2 based Max for example, you could go that route and see how the M4 is after a while when they are released and uh, you wouldn't lose that much money selling your M2 Mac and perhaps upgrading then to an M4 for example uh, compared to, to buying a completely new, new one, maybe regretting that purchase. So these videos here are recorded in 4K, 10-bit, not really necessary to record my face in high quality I mean uh, but that's how I have set it up the camera is a Sony a7 IV so uh, it creates big files and I use my Mac to edit my videos in DaVinci Resolve and honestly going from the M3 Max MacBook Pro with 48 gigabytes of memory a lot of GPU cores to a M3 MacBook Air with just 16 gigs of memory, four performance cores, much lesser GPU cores. I, saw, I thought that the editing experiencing would be a much lesser experience. While I can feel it's a tiny bit slower on the M3 MacBook Air, compared to the M3 Max, it's really no issue for me. It's fluid in the timeline. The export time is obviously higher on the M3 MacBook Air Air, but uh, I, I mean I can do other things uh, during the export time so for me it works pretty good so if I was going to edit a video with uh, 10 uh, 10 bit video streams on the MacBook Air that would be something else of, of course then uh, you might want to look at getting a more higher end Mac but you can still find something on the used market, of course. So that's what we are uh, probably going to have come in the coming months. Uh, the event from Apple is uh, next month in October. So uh, yeah, let's wait and see what they are uh, releasing. What do you think they are going to release? You can comment down below. I hope this video was useful in some way. Take care and uh, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.